Mm -hmm. I wonder if that'll make a good handle for my my little hatchet because I need one. <laughs> Hey, welcome to Attack and Adventures today. Uh, Attack a trucker and car series. Um, here, um, I'm gonna get this little lapping disc wheel and try to try to put this uh, brass hammer that I got for I guess for the next gasoline tank job that we do. When you're taking knocking off that uh, that bezel ring, you don't want to use something that you know one of these hammers would throw a spark. If you hit a hit a steel steel uh, drift or something, so it's just uh, I'm sure that this has got a chance of sparking, but it's a lot less likely. But that's the handle that you took off that cedar tree in the last video. Yep, this is gonna be the the mossy cedar. I don't. I guess it'll <laughs> it'll do so. safety glasses usually but you have regular glasses and I have my yeah. sunglasses on at the moment. I mean I don't want to mess these up anyway. But Here you go. It's a good uh, call. I think those are the messed up ones right? I've already been outside moving stuff so I'm sure it's so messed up. All right, so, and I drew. <clears throat> I tried to draw the the small end. This it's got a big end and a, and a little and a smaller end, and I tried to draw the small end on there. So take it down to about where I need it. All right, you want might want to fast forward this. I thought it was going to smell good, but that don't smell good. This I need to unplug it. Yeah, it smells like a... It's alright, Meg. One of her dogs don't like that noise. Yeah, I thought this was going to smell perfect, but not. It's going to be smoke.
smell better. I know one thing. If you if you don't do that while it's still a little bit green, it's gonna be real hard to work with. And if you're one of these people that that can do this with a with one of those knives, mm -hmm. then that I think you, you get the utmost respect for for somebody that can do that. I I usually try to do everything because I don't have time for some of that stuff. Oh, it's close. Make it skinny. As you can see, it's, it seems like it's, oh, that's going to be hard. That's going to be hard enough anyway. Because if I, if I did that all over the handle and make it smooth, I think it would, you know, for light duty, it'll work. not doing anything these these things are really neat I think you get a whole box of them for like 15 bucks it's supposed to be good on metal like uh, like I'll show you this it'll, it'll do it right on the metal it's not supposed to take uh, the metal but it is look. Makes it, it's real uh, just sandpaper but it, this I mean is his it, work it, area by the way messy instead of gouging the metal it just more like polishes it it's really cool Put it on there. I'm just gonna press it on. I did. Uh, which one was it? If I can find it. I know it's in there somewhere. <laughs> Let's find right here. The, no, it's not, no. Yeah, this one. This one. Thank you. 
but I had a press. I put that in there, and it's not coming back out, people. I think this thing had a, um, it was an Arbor Press, and the handle was, it's broke over the years, and I just recently had to take it down. But I drove, I ground it down small like to that, and then stuck it in that Arbor Press, and it was it was a power machine, not not a pump. So I just on the press, and this thing was coming down. It's like it goes real slow. It's like, and then it come down onto that. And you just you could tell when it went in there that it's not coming back out. And I'm surprised that I never cracked that hammer because I've I've uh, used it on big you know big jobs. I think I drive I drove though the stakes outside with the, for the antenna I'm not sure oh. for sure but for like a two pound hammer you should never do subject it to that but I do and that's why my handles break well maybe I can just hit, hit it with that I, uh, goggles can't see what I'm doing anyway. Yeah. It's trying to slide on me. Well, the good thing is it's so sharp that it's cutting itself in. And that's your video. <laughs> now, if it if it loosens up, I can put a shim in there. Like, well, this is so tight. I think I actually stuck something into it. Can't really tell what that is. Yeah. But this thing here is the same. Let me wipe it off. Hit something with it. You can see. That it followed yeah. the uh, turn this one. It followed the, the pattern of yep. what I drew on there. So let's see. Would would it spark? Right here. This is some steel. Hmm. It's gonna I cleaned it up with that same lapping disc. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to mark it up. Got to shine up. Well, that's cool. Well, you might not. You might not have the the time to go to the hardware store. And I never thought the cedar would be strong, but. It, it really is strong. I would just leave the moss on it. The way it is? Yeah. This thing is so sharp. I mean, you like think termites nice. would get to it if you left the moss on it? I don't know. It's just got one little strip uh, yeah. peeled right there. You know, I said in the last video that Crown Vic was a Grand Prix. I just realized that last night. Um, yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> I caught that. I'm like, well. We had one. Your, yeah, no, I you did. Had your, first, uh, your first car before you got the truck was... Grand Prix. So are you wrapping this wrapping this up or Okay. And that's the I'm gonna 
I might leave it long like that or probably gonna have to cut it down like like a normal you know I wouldn't I would leave it like like a desk really yeah if somebody really gets bad you can throw it like a right. tomahawk right like you can't <laughs> you can't buy a handle that long at the store so I got to I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet but all right well thanks for watching the video and um, if you're not uh, subscribed we need we're still looking for subscribers and share and like comment and thanks for joining us and uh, excuse the mess right one day I'll have have it all organized mm -hmm. when we're on video all right all right thanks a lot bye-bye